Hey, it's Nate from FreeFly. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a quick overview of our new LR1 payload for Astro. We've integrated the Sony ILX LR1 into a FreeFly gimbal, which just slots into our Smart Dovetail ecosystem. So we've got a 61 megapixel imager in here, which shoots beautiful high resolution images. Uh, and we've designed this gimbal to support four different lenses for mapping and inspection applications. We've made several improvements to this payload over the A7R4 payload. It's lighter, which increases flight time. We support more lenses for increased use cases, and we've added expansion ports for additional accessory modules like a thermal camera or laser rangefinder. We've also improved the video recording capabilities of this and the gimbal stability. The LR1 payload slots into your existing A7R4 workflow on Astro, and if you purchase it separately, it comes in a nice hard case with additional slots for lenses, or if you purchase it as a kit, it comes in, Astro, in Astro's case with a foam insert to fit below Astro. For mapping applications, we support the 24 and 35 millimeter lens. Combined with a 61 megapixel imager, it gives great detailed high resolution maps. We're getting two centimeters ground sample distance using the 24 millimeter lens from 400 feet AGL and we're getting up to two to four centimeters of accuracy when using our PPK or RTK workflow. For inspection workflow, we support 50 and 75 millimeter lenses on the LR1 gimbal. Combined with Pilot Pro's slow speed mode and adjustable tilt settings, you can really dial in your shot and get exactly what you're looking for. We have an example workflow video on our wiki showing some inspections of power lines that you can check out. Additionally, when LTE is enabled on Astro, you can upload your images directly to the cloud and view the geolocations on the Arterian suite. Astro also has compassless mode, which is super useful when you need to resist sources of magnetic interference, like power lines. We've also made a number of improvements to the video performance of LR1. So the camera is capable of shooting up to 4K60 at 10 bit, which is awesome detailed video. The camera also has a fixed sensor. So the A7R4 had IBIS, internal in-body in image stabilization, which causes the sensor to float in a magnetic field. It's super great for handheld stuff, but unfortunately in aerial applications, it tends to cause micro vibrations. And so having a fixed sensor in this payload is awesome because it allows us to get much more stable video footage. Um, in addition, we've made a number of improvements to the gimbal to increase footage stability. And then we've also designed a new isolator that further increases footage stability. We've exposed a number of video settings as well uh, that's, that's different from A7R4. So you can now choose which color profile you're filming in, frame rate, bit rate, exposure mode, all of that stuff is exposed through Arterian Mission Control. One of the things we really focused on in development was making this gimbal adjustable and expandable. So we've added little thumb screws here so you can slide the camera package forward and backwards to adjust balance for different lenses. And if you need to add a different lens, we've exposed the ability to do custom tuning. By default, the four lenses that we support don't need any user intervention and the gimbal will automatically apply the correct tuning settings. But if you do need to run a weird lens or something like that, you can custom tune the gimbal. We've added two additional accessory ports on the side of the camera here so that you can add additional modules onto the payload. We'll be supporting a thermal module and a laser rangefinder, and this pinout is available on our wiki if you want to add your own modules. So you can see one of the additional modules we have here, the thermal module. So it just bolts onto the top. Uh, it's user installable, so if you get an LR1 payload and then decide later on that you want thermal or laser rangefinder or we come out with a new sensor, you can add it on. It takes about five minutes and it's super easy. Uh, and then you just plug it into Astro and plug in the payload to the side expansion port here and you're good to go. Those are the highlights for our new LR1 payload. We're super excited to get this out and shipping to new and existing Astro customers. Uh, feel free to check out our wiki. We have a bunch of example data and images up there. And if you have any other questions, you can reach out to support at FreeFly Systems and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much.